Hello YouTube, this is USA Penny Hunter 43 and we have another unboxing to do. So, we bought a, I mean I bought another coin, so we're just gonna cut it open and see what it is, and no, it's not more 18th century silver, or wait a minute, no, 19th century. Yeah, so we're good. This is uh, having a little bit of a tough time. I should honestly just get a new scissors though, because this one doesn't cut very well. But I mean, it's scissors is only like a dollar. I'll probably just go get a new one that's like I don't know gray color for a USA Penny for forty three or something like that. But yeah, you know what? I think that's good enough. So just to make sure that. There isn't, uh, like, uh, personal information here. I'm just going to kind of pull this off the screen, even though I do that, like, half the time anyways. Because I'm busy trying to open it, not paying much attention. Okay, so the package is open, and... Okay, well, so this is empty, right? Nothing in there. And, uh, we just have some cardboard. I mean, I don't know if this is what you're actually supposed to ship it in. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to cut this open. I don't know, there could be in eBay information on the inside yet. What? Yeah, see all that paper. Oh, no, that's not paper. Okay, that's definitely interesting. So. Oh, don't tell me it's sta Okay, good, it's not stapled. Okay. Things are evolving further and further. Uh, let's see. Okay, finally, we're getting to the coin, see? Just the corner of the bay. Ah, uh, yes. 1914S. Supposedly, though. I was looking at it. It doesn't look like it's been, uh, casted or anything. It just looks like the acid that, and the soil that eats it when uh, it sits in the ground too long. So it's probably been in the ground for a long time because see, it looks pretty solid. But I'm just gonna get these staples out. Which way does it even, oh, okay, good. I'm opening the right side. So, yeah, this was sold as a 1914S, but here's the thing. It really looks like a D over an S. Not like the air, but like it doesn't really look like an S. The pictures didn't look like an S, so I was like, hey, for a not too great condition coin for an okay price, might as well take the risk, even if I don't, because I don't have it anyways, so either way I'd benefit from it. This 2x2, two two, as you can see, is made out of a different material than the ones I use, and it's very flimsy in comparison. Not that this is bad packaging, but that's why it's taking longer. And now we will be removing the coin. So another way to tell if it's fake or not is looking along the edge and finding one giant flat spot, which I don't see, and it doesn't seem to be all scratched up. But I'll look into this further, because that's about as good as the eBay picture was. Yeah. Oh, kind of looking like an S to me. Could be a D though. I don't know. Either way, that's one for the book, because I don't have that one yet. So we're gonna just zoom out and pull out the book. So, just for now, until I can get confirmed by uh, my local coin shop dealer, right? We're just gonna put it in the 14s slot and that only leaves five to go two for the pre-teens two for the teens and one for the 30s so either way thank you guys for watching and i sure hope you enjoyed this video